Hello sweet friends, welcome to my channel. I am very excited about today's video. I love watching these videos on other people's YouTube. I love seeing the treasures that they find. And what I'm talking about is my thrift store haul. I have a whole mishmash of stuff. I originally was looking for some jean, a sweater, and some skirts or dresses. I found some of those things, but I actually found a lot more. So. The first thing, I don't even know where to start, you guys. I'm so excited. We'll start here. We'll start with like home goods. How about that? This cool thing. What the heck? So neat. I, here's the thing. I think I know what it does. Obviously it's like a rack and it unfolds and that's super cool. And you could hang it on your wall like this or like this. I am not 100% sure how I'm going to hang things on it, but I just think it's really, really cool. It's this sort of light pine color of wood, which I really am liking these days. I just think it's really pretty and really cute. That's gonna go on our wall. So I just realized it's super echoey in here and our lovely clock, which is like all the way on the other side of the house is being very noisy and like ticking really loud in this video. So, I'm very sorry about that. I guess we're just going to carry on because everything is right here. I don't really want to move it and I don't know how much time I have. So bear with me with the echoes and the clicking, clocking, talk, the clicking, the talking. You guys, I'm totally blanking. Ticking, talking, clock. There we go. Bear with me with that. So, oh yeah, this is absolutely beautiful. I was so excited to find this. Let me hold it up in both of its parts. I'm pretty sure the guy that I was talking to at Zora said that he thinks this is olive wood. It looks like olive wood. And it's just, see, you can already see what's wrong with it. It's just this beautiful wood slab. It's got little like feet on the bottom. So it could just sit on a table and I've seen him putting like a candle or just like a little decoration on it. I handed this beautiful little thing to my son, my little toddler son to hold. And I should have known better that he would not hold it. He threw it. it went on the ground and it broke. Thankfully, it broke really pretty cleanly in two parts. So my amazing mechanically blessed husband can hopefully glue this back together. Cause you can't really tell. I mean, you can tell there's a crack, but hopefully once we glue it, it'll look just like a beautiful aged wood piece with a story. Ow. Oh, I pinched my finger. We're gonna set that aside. I got these for Christmas for our Christmas decorations. Let me know in the comments if you ever had these. I don't know if this is like a Midwestern thing or if this is an all around American thing. I know they were really popular in like the 60s, I think. They're these American porcelain collectible little guys. There's like everything you could possibly look for. There's churches, there's houses, there's cabins, there's sweet shops. It's like a whole, they call them like Dickens villages sometimes. There's a whole village worth of these guys. And usually they're really expensive. Like you can find them at Bronner's um, in Frankenmuth in Michigan, but they're obviously super expensive there because they're brand new. And I literally found an entire set. Like I'm pretty sure this was someone's entire set at Goodwill for $4 a piece. This is the church. And there's like a little light bulb inside that you can turn on. And so there's this beautiful little glow that comes out through the windows. This is gonna be so pretty at Christmas. My mom has an incredible village that she lights up every Christmas. Like she'll put it all on like a little side table and turn all the lights on and it's so beautiful at night. So I have a church, a bunch of it's all wrapped up. So I don't think I'm gonna unwrap it all. There's one other one that came in a box. So I'll show you that one. This one is the library. You guys, so pretty. And it's got little like pine trees on it. Oh, I just love it. So that were the two, that was, was, were, those were the two that came in boxes. The rest all came just like separately wrapped. Here's what I'll do. I'll upload a picture to Instagram once Christmas comes and once we can actually decorate and then you can see the whole situation. How about that? That would be good. And the rest are in these bags. I got a general store, a like tot shop. It looked like a toy shop, but I think it was spelled like T-O-T. So I don't know if it's like, oh, it's for tots or <laughs> if it's a toy shop, I don't know. But it looked like a toy shop. General store, toy shop, I think a sweet shop and a post office. I think there's, those were the other four. Um, so I'm super excited to set these up 
at Christmas time. I think it's gonna be so pretty and like our main Christmas decoration besides our nativity and our tree. Ooh. So that's pretty much like all of the home things. Um, I got a bunch of books. The books are only 99 cents a piece at Goodwill. Oh yeah, all of this is from Goodwill, if you were wondering. I don't know if you could see it on the bag, but that's where these were. This one, I'm very excited. Oh, it's from the Dolly Parton Imagination Library. That's cool. We get books from her. This first one is Little Loon and Papa, which I am really, really, really excited about. My dad is obsessed with loons. He loves loons. He probably would be one if he was allowed to. It just made me think of him, and especially when it says Little Loon and Papa, I thought that was really sweet. And my amazing friend, Laura Sweeney, does this thing where she'll theme all of her books for the month, and it's kind of like she'll have a featured shelf of the books that they read every month, kind of corresponding with the holiday that is most prominent that month. So I'm really excited to be able to put this out in June when Father's Day comes along. We've got another one, which I think is a daddy one. It's called You Are My I Love You. It kind of reminded me of, um, oh my goodness, what is the one called? What's the book called where, um, with the rabbit, the big daddy rabbit and the little baby rabbit. You guys, I have two copies of this book. Why am I blanking on this? Y'all know what I'm talking about, but it reminds me of that. So I really love this one. I thought this was really sweet and it's a board book, so it's virtually indestructible. Next book is How Many Days to America, Thanksgiving Story by Eve Bunting. I thought this was a beautiful book. It's illustrated amazingly. I am just really excited and interested to read this story. And again, it's kind of on theme with November and Thanksgiving. So I'm trying to build my themed book repertoire and this was perfect. The next one is how the Indians bought the farm. Again, it's illustrated really beautifully and it just seems like a really neat story. And I'm very excited to read this as well. This one's really cute, Little Sleepy Head. This is also Dolly Parton's Magnation Library. Dolly Parton, you all right, girl. That's amazing. That's so funny that I picked up two that are from her library. The illustrations are really, really sweet. I love sort of the like soft watercolor sketch kind of cartooniness of them. I think they're absolutely adorable. So I was really excited when I found this book. This one, again, a good themed book for around Christmas time to learn about other religions and how they celebrate a holiday near Christmas. I guess Hanukkah isn't Christmas, but it is a holiday that they celebrate close to Christmas and it's Hanukkah lights everywhere. The illustration is just really, really sweet. I love the idea of teaching our children about different people's religions and different ways that they celebrate holidays that are really special to them. So I really like this book. Baby Angels, we actually had this book growing up and I feel like every time that I find a book from my childhood, even if it's not wasn't like my favorite book, I just have to get it because I do remember liking this book a lot and reading it a lot with my mom. And so I'm really excited to be able to read this with the boys. All of us girls would point out which baby angels we were. We'd like pick our own baby angel. We're like, that's me, that's me. So I'm really excited um, to be able to read this to them. And it's all about angels and how they protect us and keep us safe throughout the day. And I just thought that was absolutely amazing. Last but not least, we have, and actually it's a sticker book. I'm so excited about this. I wanted to find like a Where's Waldo book or like a more of an activity based book for like travels and stuff. This one will work anyway. I don't, I think that Joseph is still too young for this, but I will probably save this for him for later. You guys, this is like brand new because all the stickers are still in the book. Like completely. I, I don't think this person used any of the stickers. They're all still in here. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. This is going to be so much fun, but it's all about like robots. And not just robots, right? Like you see in movies, but actual robots that like people are designing for use in everyday life, like robot suits. You can like build your own robot with the stickers, fearless robots, like that go by volcanoes, gadgets on vacation, 
playtime gadgets. There's like all different kinds of robots and this is gonna be so much fun. That is it for the books. We've done books, we've done home decor. Now we're moving on to the clothes. I've been revamping my whole wardrobe recently, um, trying to like minimize it and bring it down to more basics that I really, really love to wear and that are versatile and match each other really well. But then I've also, I've been changing sizes a lot. I gained a lot of weight with my first baby, Joseph, and I have been working really hard to lose said weight after my second baby, Blaze. So I'm, I'm really back and forth with sizes. But at the same time, even though I've lost a lot of weight and I'm basically what I weighed when I got married to before I even had children, um, I'm not the same size because my bones are like in a different spot. It's kind of interesting and a little bit difficult to try to find clothes that fit me that I like. This is how I've been trying to do it and I really love that I can thrift them because it's not very expensive. It's a sustainable and ethical way to shop. I usually find things that I like a lot more that are more unique in a thrift store rather than at a brand new store or at like a fast fashion store. I really like these. They're just a simple pair of black flats. They're barely worn. Um, they're size eight and I really like the little divot in the middle. The guy at the checkout counter, he was hilarious, you guys. Ooh, I think somebody already put like heel blister pads. That's fun. Thank you, person. They're only $5, so that's amazing. Oh yeah, the cashier person, that's what I meant to tell you. He's like, where's the other half of the shoe? Like he could not understand that this was for fashion. He was like genuinely concerned that half of the shoe was gone. So that kind of cracked me up. Our next thing are these, they're pants. They are really snug like leggings, but they're very thick and this great stretchy, but like <clears throat> waistband, like it will suck you in. So that's exactly what I need. They're actually really nice and long. I'm five, seven. And these went all the way down to my ankle with even like a little bit of like wrinkling at the bottom. So I really appreciated the, that these were nice and long. The waistband's really nice. And these will be great under sweaters and dresses because they do fit like leggings or they could fit more like pants because they are thicker material. These guys. Okay. I think I like them. Let me preface this with that. First of all, so they're by Lee. Jeans that fit beautifully. Denim riders. They're brand new. Like they still have the original tag on them. Eased seat inside, straight leg. I love that it's eased seat inside. Basically saying there's room for your big booty. That's really what it's saying. Misses. I never understood misses. Who fits into misses? There's juniors, there's women's, there's misses. Is misses older or is misses younger? I don't know. I don't even know if there's, if misses exist anymore. Anyways, here I've folded up one side already. Maybe I'll try these on for y'all so you can see what they look like. So here are the jeans. They're big. They've got like a handful back here. If I like tailor them someday, they might be perfect. They're a little big throughout the hips and then they've got like a little bit of gapping at the waist. Like unless I'm really pulling on them, they're not gonna fall off, I'll tell you that much, because of the ease through the seat, which is very exciting. I still can't believe that's what it says. What do you guys think? I don't know, I, I love this. This is like, this is not going anywhere. It's that tight, but it's not going anywhere. I might try to wear them with the tags on first and see what I think about them. They're just really comfortable. And I think if you wore a really fitted top with them, it would probably be okay. We will see. I think it's super interesting how trends change. Obviously, these are not super on trend. Basically the mom jean is like super in right now and people are selling these things for like $80, $100. I don't want to spend that much on high-waisted jeans, but I like how they look and I'm really glad they're back in style because they're way more comfortable. I don't have to worry about my booty showing. So you get a pair like this and we'll see how it goes. Can I sit in them? Oh, that's an attractive shot. Okay, this gorgeous thing, hang on. Have I gone through all the pants? I think I have this beautiful red turtleneck sweater, but I thought this would be really pretty for the holiday season, for Christmas and Thanksgiving. Um, and I really like this beautiful shade of sort of maroony red. It's cropped, which I like as well. It's not super long. Again, something that I used to hate as a very long torso person, but when you get high-waisted things, you can get cropped things as well. So that's exciting. And it's got a great turtleneck and it's super thick and pushy, but it's really fitted and nice. So there is that. 
It's this lovely houndstooth, I think that's what it's called, skirt. But I love that this waist has a little bit of give at the top, but it's very like sexy in too. So I like that. There's a zipper in the back and this cool little clasp detail, which I enjoy. And this with like a black turtleneck and black tights and some boots and flats. It's just like a really good, solid, dressy outfit. Oh man, I wasn't through the pants, you guys. What am I doing? They're sort of these slacks. They're high-waisted, they're wide-legged, but this with like a little tucked-in shirt and like a scarf, I just thought it was cool. And sort of like those 1940s outfits, you know, where they had like the little sweater and these like wide-legged pants with some flats. And they look so classic and so pretty. I will try these on for you guys as well to see what we think. You guys, I'm enjoying this. Either I look like a sailor, like a tap dancing sailor. In my best estimation, I look like Audrey Hepburn. That would be exciting. They're super high-waisted. I'm pretty sure these were like, once upon a time, some like 40-something year old ladies business slacks from like the 80s or something, but I am digging on hardcore and I think you could style them really nicely. Like imagine it like this, with this sweater, you know? Yes, totally. I'm probably a total mom at this point, but I like it. So keeping these. Okay, we're gonna speed through the last two things. My baby's waking up. I got just a simple V-neck black sweater and it's got these really pretty little puffed sleeves, which I really enjoy. Super simple, chunky gray sweater has this nice wide sort of boat neck, but especially with a chunkier sweater, it's kind of nice to have more of your like clavs showing. I really like this. All right, that is it. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Tell me what are your favorite things you found at the thrift store, or if you go to the thrift store, maybe this will inspire you now, because you really can find a lot of amazing things. Until next time, I will see you later. Bye.